Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star Series Life here on Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, out of the two international friendly games the Black Stars are supposed to play in the month of October, we have played one. Ghana, Mexico 2-0. Ghana lost. It is done. There's nothing we can do about it. Coach Chris Wittin's first loss after taking over as Black Star manager. It is already done. Let's forget about that. Now let's face the next game. Ghana is going to play against USA on the 17th of October at the Geodes Park. Yes. So in today's video, I'm going to give you updates concerning the Black Star Team Cup news, especially that has to do with Joseph Aid. He got injured and I'm going to talk about him and some few things about the Black Stars. Also, we are going to look at five lessons learned from the game against Mexico, Life on Sports Corner G8. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, to thank you very much and may God richly bless you. On the Black Star series, we give shout out. So guys, if your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you and please continue to support sports on g8 but if your name is not here don't worry comment about this video and any other video we post and i'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list we do live here on sports on g8 also yesterday we did a special giveaway yes a special giveaway we predict the score line and our winner is called francis of war francis of war so guys if you see this this is our winner francis of war if you are watching this comment your momo number down below in the comment section and get paid and receive the price money also, in the month of October, our giveaway is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Corner G. You can stand a chance of winning yourself a free jersey of your choice. Very, very simple. Please make sure to participate. So, guys, quickly, let's jump into it and talk about the Black Stars. In the month of October, the Black Stars were scheduled to play two international friendly matches. And yesterday, we were able to play one out of those two. The one against Mexico, we lost by two goals to zero and the conversation is still ongoing. But I believe that what is done is done. We need to search forward and start looking at the next game that will be played against USA on the 17th of October. The timing is also the same and it will be played at the Geodes Park. Ghana, uh, USA, Ghana, USA have a lot of history. A lot of history between Ghana, USA. You have played a lot of games and usually the scoreline is 2-1. So I always say this. Either Ghana is winning that game by two goals to one, or USA is winning that game by two goals to one. Definitely, history doesn't lie. So, guys, um, let me give you updates concerning the Black Stars. Today, the Black Stars will be holding a recovery training. Yeah, recovery training. That training isn't intense. That training is just for them to, you know, relax and then reflect on the game they played against Mexico. I know most of the, the, the players will be reflecting on that game and looking at how bad they performed it. They'll be looking at the next game too and make sure that they make some changes and then some correction and make Ghanaians happy in the next game they're going to play against USA. So today, the Black Stars will be holding a recovery training. Also, um, the Black Stars will be preparing to depart from where they are currently at Charlotte and move to um, Geodes Park where they are going to play their next game in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, that game is just, there's a few interval in that game. So by Tuesday, they need to, you know, prepare and, be, and do everything. So I believe that after the recovery training, they are going to depart to the Geodes Park to prepare for their next game against USA at Nashville, Tennessee. Also, um, let's talk about Joseph Aiden. Yesterday in the game against Mexico, Joseph Edu in the 25th minute got injured and if you watch the match critically, everything aside, if you pay attention to the little detail, when he was on the floor injured, he was arguing. Like, he, he, you could see there was a heated argument between Joseph Edu and another person. I don't know who he was angry at, whether it was the medical team or someone else, I couldn't tell, but it could show you how severe that injury was. From what I hear, that injury is yet to be assessed. And he will not be part of the next game the Blasters are going to play against USA. This is a huge blow to the Black Stars. See, we are, lost, we are losing a lot of defenders. It's crazy. A lot of defenders. And this is a huge blow to the Blasters, especially looking at the next game you are going to play. So, Joseph Edu's update. I'll make sure to bring you more updates on that. He said, this is a huge blow to South Ambigo too. Because, I mean, he's going, he's returning back from the international break with an injury. It's, it's very serious. 
And then, guys, this is the latest update on Joseph Aiden. Now, moving away from the updates, let's talk about five things I believe that we should learn from that game. And also, Blasters and Coach Chris Uti should really pay a critical attention to. And this is based on my opinion. So, let me know yours down below in the comment section. I'll make it very fast. It's very snappy. The first one is the goalkeeper's trainers. I don't know what they are teaching the goalkeepers. Honestly, the goalkeeper's trainers, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like the Black Stars. One of the weakest positions is the goalkeeping department. I know yesterday, Lawrence Atizige did his own thing with a lot of blunders here and there. But in a game, he made some two crucial saves that I believe that if not for those saves, would have been four goals, four goals down, it would have been 4-0. So I believe that even though he did war, I mean, the goalkeeper's trainers, what are they teaching? Like, the second goal, for instance, like this, he would have come out a bit earlier, timed this run a bit earlier, and prevented that goal. So these are the few things that they need to teach. We are not seeing any effect from the, 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 the goalkeeper's trainers. We bend you. They should work on that one. Also, our defenders cannot pass. Nicolas Opoku cannot pass. I don't know, I don't know if there's a problem with that or what. Nicolas Opoku cannot pass. And there's no communication, there is no harmony between our defenders. And I believe that it's because they have not played amongst themselves for too long. But I mean, you, you guys train, you guys train. So definitely, I mean, there would be, you know, 11, 11 against 11, side on side. Definitely, there will be that kind of partnership. But playing a game like this and then, we don't see any partnership between our defenders. It's very worrying. It, it makes me miss Daniel Amate and Jiku's partnership. Because even though they have their own shortcomings, they know how to pass. They have a good relationship. They don't really, you know, you know, I like, you will not see any giddy giddy bia like that. But then you can see that there's some communication, there's some harmony, there's some cohesion and teamwork between Amate, Jiko, and Mohamed Sadisu. And we need these three players for World Cup qualifiers and also for AFCON. Honestly, we can't really rely on the substitute. And this is a very big issue we need to really discuss. Our defenders. Well, we don't have defenders, so because Charlie, looking at the ones we have recently, Kingsley Schneider like this, Charlie, or near Blackstar standard. I'm, not, I'm just going to say the truth. Kingsley Schneider was a thing. He's not Blackstar standard. Like, our recruitment should have been better and bring in a better player. So, guys, our defenders cannot pass. They need to work on that. The third one is our midfielders are not creating enough. Our midfielders are not creative enough. Our midfielders don't create enough chances for the forwards. Thomas Partey, Salis uh, Salis uh, uh, Samet. Elisha Owusu and the likes, they are not creative. We need creative uh, midfielders. Daniel Kofi Chire, Majid Ashwell, those people are more creative. And we need players of that similar profile in the Blaster squad. Right now, if you look at the midfielders in the Blaster squad, only they are defensive midfielders. They are all defensive midfielders. We need creative midfielders in the, in the, in the, in the game, in the Blaster team. Because it is the only way we can solve our goal scoring problem. Because if we keep on bringing these defensive minded midfielders, we will always be suffering. We will always be suffering. It's, it's not right. Now, the fourth thing I believe we should also learn on the, 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 the whole thing is that Chris Hilton and his technical team. Now, I don't know what they are doing. Maybe I'm going to bring to the Chris Hilton fine. But the technical team, Charlie, we know they see your work. We are not, we are not seeing anything. Because you can't tell me that. The whole technical team sat down and they, 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 they told Coach Chris Hilton that, okay, let's go with this formation. Hey, Charlie, the formation, we don't see, we don't see crowd. You see, you see the way Ghanaians are talking. It's not like Ghanaians don't know much about football. It's because we don't have license. Yes, because the game, we have watched how Ghana is playing. We also watch the same players in their club side. So if they come to the Black Stars and they are playing some be there, your heart, your heart is boiling. Your heart is boiling. It's not, it's not nice. So, Coach Chris Hilton, the technical team, they need to work on a particular formation that is going to help us. You only maybe probably change one or two depending on the opponents. But then, Charlie, let's, let's find some identity to the Black Stars. We don't, we don't know what we are playing. And also, the last one is that we are not ready. We are, the Black Stars are not ready to, to, to win any tournament or to probably qualify out of any tournament. At this point, I believe Black Stars versus Cape Verde is a very big match for the Black Stars. Black Stars versus Mozambique is a very big match. At normal circumstances, it should, it should not be a big match because the opponent should be already be afraid. They should be intimidated that, hey, Kudus is playing no. Thomas Pate is in the game. They should be intimidated about Black Stars. They are playing the ball. There's nothing. There's no agency. There's no intensity. Nothing. 
the players cannot pass. Our players, well, they cannot pass. If you look at the way Black Wings, Black Wings, they're bon bon. Air pass it. Black Wings could pass. They could... <laughs> See, Black Wings, if you look at the way Black Wings is playing, and if you look at the way Black Staff are playing, if you compare the two ways, you wonder if they are, they are both from the same country. You will even want to know. Who be wonder? You want... You see, guys, that is all. It. I will kind of... You become too emotional about the thing. That's the thing. If you are talking, then you become emotional. So, guys, these are the five things I believe I learned from the game at... Most people are going to agree with me. Let me know yours down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Shall we? We go vibe.